Once upon a time, in our crystal river near a small town, there were very big fish. In fact, they were so big that they were not afraid to anything. They swam anywhere they wanted. They turned the lines of children fishing in their river. They ate when they were hungry and surprised anyone sitting on the river. They were the big, brave rovers of the Crystal River. One day, a large bullfrog and his family moved into the area. The bullfrog saw the two big, brave fish in the crystal river and wanted to talk to them, but he was afraid. He did not know a lot about the Crystal River or the big, brave fish that lived there and was afraid of being eaten. For a long time, he watched the big redfish, the crystal river, and everything around him to make sure it was safe. The bullfrog was very smart and used his common sense to guide him. Then with the might, hope he jumped into the crystal river to introduce himself. I am Crocker. The biggest and smartest bull, bullfrog in the world. He said, Is that so? replied one of the fish. We are the biggest and bravest fish in the Christian river. The other fish looked at Crocker and said, If you are nice and male, you share our water. The three talk and over time, the two big Brave fish and crocodile became friends every day. The three of them would meet at the same spot in the crystal clear river to eat, touch, and play. Late on evening, as the three were talking to fishermen, passing past by crocodile, saw them and common sense told him to walk into the water and hid under the mum. The two big brain fish slowly swam in circles so the fisherman could see just how big they were. One day, one of the fishermen saw them and said, This crystal river has some really big fish. Let's come back tomorrow morning and catch them. As the fisherman turned and walked away, they disused they discussed it, what type of the type of bite might work best to catch big brave fish bomb said no one no so, some said the other and they continued their discussion as they walked the twisty path along the crystal clearly river and the two big brave fish and the croaker overhead the fisherman my friend said croaker did you hear what they said you should swim away and hid i am afraid they may catch and eat me so i will take my family to nearby pond to be safe the two big brave fish bubbled out laugh as the jumped in and out of the water. One said, My dear bullfrog friend, don't be affronted of their mere talk. Crocker looked at the two brave fish and said, I would rather be safe than sorry. From what I heard the mice come back so I will leave with my family to the safety of the pond. Crocker left and the two big brave fish swam to the bottom of the crystal river. The next morning, just after sunrise, the two fishermen returned to the crystal river what the day before they had seen the two big brave fish. They walked slowly and quietly so as not to disturb them. Look, they spread. One of the fishermen, there they are, the fishermen, 
gently cast their weight and let it slowly drop in the crown. The attract the big brave fisher, the big brave fish. I was in moment each had hook one of the big brave fish. Then the battle between the fisherman and the fish began. The big brave fish used all their traps to free themselves. They dive, they, they dive deep, swam fast, and leaped from the water, thrashing their tail and head in an attempt to get free. The battle raged for over ten minutes, but in the end, the big brave fish were no match for the fisherman. They were caught. Crocker bought from the safety of the all rocks that separate the pond from the bank of the crystal river. Of the under words excited, each had caught a big grey fish on their first cast of the bay. What a story they had to tell when they returned home. Crocker carefully hoped that to the pond and told his family what he had seen. Both my big brave fish friends were very talented and still they were caught. What I did only common sense. Saved my family, I will miss them. We have to learn a lesson from this, said Croker of his family. Add the first sign of danger, use common sense and act quickly to save yourself.